All right, so I need to do a recap of what ended up happening because it was pretty awesome. I hunted all morning, just me and my dogs. Um, Rue and Cooley probably ran about 18 miles of road. Like I, they, they were running their butts off. Um, we covered a lot of ground. Uh, puppies didn't really do much, you know. Hey, Tika, Tika, come here, girl, come here. Puppies are just along for the ride. Um, this year, I have no expectations of them doing anything with bobcats. Little, they're just little babies. So, um, hey, hey, Bruno, leave it. They're wanting to eat some toilet paper. No. Anyways, so I was hunting really Cooley and Rue by themselves, and, uh, in this same general area, my mentor was hunting with his main hunting partner. Um, same two dudes that I wrote about in my book, Cat Dog Chronicles. Um, they've really helped me a lot, and they ended up helping me out big time today. So we were on talking on the CB, and all of a sudden Sean goes, Hey Nick, you should probably try to get here as fast as you possibly can. And so... I knew he wouldn't say that for no reason, so I figured out where they were, and yeah, hauled butt, you know, picked up Cooley and Rue off the road, hauled butt over there. Well, when I got there, they had, it was, their, their two trucks were on the road, probably about, I don't know, 10, at least 10 dogs all on the road, treeing a bobcat that was literally almost overhanging the road. They treat a bobcat right on the road. Pip, no, no. So I get there. They're, they're two trucks. All their dogs on the ground. Treeing on a bobcat. And the bobcat was, the tree was like seriously 10 feet off the road. It was amazing. Um, I saw the bobcat in the tree before they even pointed it out. It was hilarious. So... Um, my mentor, he told, he said, Hey, here's what we'll do. Let's, let's get, I'll gather up my dogs. You drive up the road and, you know, box up your, make sure, get your dogs to quiet down. Just go up the road a little ways, get your dogs to quiet. And we'll wait for this bobcat to come out of the tree. And then you can go and, you can go and turn your dogs loose on the track and see what they do. So that's exactly what we did. And, um, it took them a little work, but Cooley and Rue, they found the track, and they freaking treat it. All right, so something awesome happened. I ended up meeting up with my mentor. He had a cat treed right on the road. He, we gave it some time, wait till it came down, and he let me put my dogs in on it. And Cooley and Rue, they ended up getting it caught. Good boy, Rue. Come here, buddy. Come here, Cooley. Come here, girl. 
I mean, it was it was it was incredible, um, and they, you know, they didn't because it ended up going across a road, and so Cooley was really struggling with the road, um, and figuring out its out track off the road. So, um, but Rue did really good. He it ended up going up this creek, this little you know creek, little water seep seam, and um, yeah, it treed in a. Um, yeah, like a, some kind of a, I don't know, some short little tangled up tree, like, um, yeah, it was incredible. So I ended up, uh, I didn't, they kept coming back, they would go up there and then come back to the road. Rue was staying put more or less at that tree and he was barking for a while, but then he ended up coming back down to the road. It was only about 80 yards up the hill. So uh, my mentor got on the radio and he said, hey, do you want me to come down there and help you figure out what's going on? And I was like, absolutely, yes, I need, I need help. So he got down, he came down, and I told him where it went, and he confirmed that it didn't, um, he confirmed that it wasn't uh, the backtrack that they were running. They weren't just running the backtrack. So... I told, I showed him on the map where Rue was, and he was like, okay, well, you should go up there and see, see, just mark that spot on your map and see what's up there. So that's what I did. By the time I got up there, Cooley and Rue had made it back up there, and they were, they started treeing again. And sure enough, uh, it took a minute to find it, but sure, I found, I found the cat in the tree, and I got some pretty cool shots of it. I don't know, I had, I forgot to bring this good, uh, camera. Bruno? No, sir. No, I forgot to bring this, um, you know, this nicer camera. So I was just using my iPhone. Um, still, I, I think I got some good shots of it. I climbed up into the tree and at one point I was almost eye level with it, but it was just too sketchy. I couldn't um, pull my phone out to take a video. But yeah, so pretty dang exciting. Um, got confirmation that Cooley and Rue, they can do it. They're just, they're still very green in terms of bobcats. And yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a really awesome season. I can't wait to get some snow on the ground, get these dogs on some tracks. And yeah, we're just gonna keep getting after it. So, uh, but now some puppy shots. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm.